Welcome to the world of turtles. The Tetrafauna team is here to help you create the perfect home for your semi-aquatic turtle. Let's get started. We're going to show you how to set up an environment using the Tetrafauna Viquarium. First, let's make sure you have everything you need. In addition to a 20 to 40 gallon tank and the Viquarium, you will need gravel, thermometer, heater lamps, and water treatment products. Start off by inspecting the aquarium and stand. Be sure there are no breaks or cracks in the glass and that the stand is solid. Next, it's important to decide where you want to put the stand. Check to make sure your stand or surface and the floor area are strong enough to hold your filled aquarium. Make sure the aquarium isn't too close to a window. Also, there shouldn't be any direct drafts, so be sure to keep it away from vents. Turtles like a water temperature of at least 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Tetra recommends a 20 to 40 gallon aquarium for a turtle that will mature to about 6 to 12 inches long. We highly recommend the Deluxe Repto Habitat, which comes with a bottom drain to make water changes a snap. Now, clean the aquarium with water, not using any soap or cleansers. The residue from these can harm your turtle. If you decide to use gravel, rinse that too. Many turtle owners opt not to use gravel in the aquatic section because turtles require frequent water changes and gravel makes it more difficult. It's your choice. Your semi-aquatic turtle will spend some time on land and some time in the water. You'll need to set up your aquarium so that your turtle can both swim and bask outside of the water. Make sure the tank has enough space to provide an area with at least three inches of deep water on one side. On the other side, the land area should be large enough for the turtle to completely pull itself out of the water and onto a dry area to bask and rest. Basking is essential for the health of any semi-aquatic turtle. The easiest way to create your semi-aquatic turtle environment is with Tetrafauna's own Viquarium. The unit provides pre-assembled land and water zones, complete with instructions for gravel, filtration, transition stones, and accessories. Okay. Unpack your Tetrafauna Viquarium. Decide whether you want the land portion on the right or left side of the aquarium. Place the pump chamber snugly in the selected corner. Following your Viquarium direction sheet, place the filtration box into the tank. Place the riverbed section between the pump chamber and filtration box. Rinse the filter cartridges. Install in the filtration box and place the lids on each side. Then, place the outlet on the pump and attach it to the waterfall unit. Add the waterfall lid. Next, the land section. Fill the land section with coarse gravel up to about a quarter inch from the top of the filtration box and the walls of the riverbed. Cover the gravel with dried moss or use live moss. Piece together portions of moss to form a continuous carpet on the top of the gravel for a more natural appearance. Now, a little home decor for your semi-aquatic turtle. Use plants that thrive in a very humid environment. Most ferns and many types of ivy work well. Add small pieces of driftwood, tree branches, and rocks. Artificial plants are an option especially for turtles because they like to uproot and destroy plants. Now for the water section. As we mentioned, many turtle owners opt not to use gravel in the aquatic section because turtles require frequent water changes and gravel makes it more difficult. It's your choice. If you use gravel, be sure you've rinsed it well. Be sure to add AquaSafe for reptiles to neutralize the harmful chemicals in tap water. Now, fill with tap water to the waterline markings found on the back side of the pump chamber. Plug in the water pump. Add aquatic and bog plants. Also, you can decorate with any item that's safe for an aquarium. Add a thermometer and Tetrafauna aquatic reptile heater so you can keep the water at approximately 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Basking is essential for your turtle's health. We recommend using a screen on top to keep your light from falling into the tank and to keep the turtle from escaping. Next, place the UVB light on top of the screen. Place your heat lamp on the screen over the basking area. 
and position it so some of the land section isn't directly under it. This will give your turtle the option of basking with less heat. Before you introduce your turtle to his new home, make sure you have used Tetra AquaSafe for reptiles to remove chlorine from the water. Also, make sure your basking area has a temperature of between 84 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Water temperature should be at least 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Your turtle is ready to move in. When first inserting your turtle into his new home, place him on a basking rock. He will probably go directly to the water zone instinctively. Make sure he can climb back into the land zone. Wait 24 hours before you first feed your new turtle. Most turtles won't eat until they become comfortable and acclimated to their new home. This can take a few hours or even a few days. You can feed your turtle twice a day after he settles in, usually about four weeks after initial aquarium setup. On average, the turtle should eat all the food in several minutes or less. Tetra Reptomin Floating Food Sticks is a long-standing favorite among turtle enthusiasts. Also consider feeding other supplemental foods, such as Repto Treat Suprema and Repto Treat Gamorous. The UVB light in your semi-aquatic turtle aquarium should be turned on for 6 to 10 hours a day. The same goes for your basking lamp. The turtle needs the UV light to help manufacture vitamin D and properly digest food. The basking lamp helps prevent fungal disease and shell rot. Your turtle and aquarium setup will thrive with just a few minutes of attention each day. For example, check your equipment. Is it working the way it should? Check that water is circulating properly through the filter. Does your filter cartridge need to be replaced? Is the heater working? What temperatures are you seeing on water and land? Regular water changes are the best way to keep your tank healthy. During the water change, put the turtle in a separate container. If you use gravel, a gravel vacuum can siphon excess waste from the bottom of the aquarium. Unlike fish aquariums, a 100% water change is recommended. When you siphon out used aquarium water, put it in a bucket and use the same bucket for each water change. It should be a clean bucket and should not be used for anything else. Be sure to add AquaSafe for reptiles to neutralize the harmful chemicals in tap water. Now, refill the aquarium with water. The filter cartridges in your viquarium system should be changed every two weeks depending on the size of your turtle. However, change your cartridge if you find excess waste on it before two weeks have passed. Pull out the dirty cartridges and dispose of them. Then, open a new pack, rinse them in tap water, and insert them into the filtration boxes. Aside from routine feeding and cleaning, you may consider using Tetra Turtle VitaShell or Tetra RepoGuard. Tetra VitaShell is rubbed on the shell of the turtle to help treat dry or brittle shells. Tetra RepoGuard helps prevent common diseases in semi-aquatic turtles. That's it! You and your semi-aquatic turtle are in the swim of things. Visit our website and Facebook page for more tips, advice, and information.